Mott. Because of you, homeboy. This surreal fucking off the hook, like one of the best days ever next to the birth of my children, man. Uh, and I do. No shit. Um, oh my God, homie. Uh, put it like this. Uh, let's see. Aside from fighting at the Playboy Mansion and getting to unveil this shit, you know what? Um, I was so excited, I smoked some Stevie again, right? And oh my God, I'm fucking spun, homie. And so what I'm going to do, no shit, I'm going to go right there and I've got it all set up. I've got my lube, I've got my fucking coffee, I've got my Stevia to replace what's in here. Oh, and there's a woman in SoCal chat, homeboy, that is fine as fuck. And she led me to pictures of her, you know what, off that site. And I saw it and I was like, oh my God. The fact that she actually has the fantasy of a lifetime in my mind, okay, running through her. I'm like, oh my fucking God, you know what, girl? Uh, I'm going to jack off fucking what I'm going to do. I didn't tell her this, but I'm going to hit this shit even more, man. I've hit it like about like 10 times and shit. You know what? And it makes me feel fucking uh, electric, homie. You know what? Uh, it's like this. It gets even better, homie. Uh, check this out. There's a motherfucker in... Las Vegas room, uh, he comes in NorCal chat, I'm not going to say his name on here, but I will on your fucking program, when I see him, if I see him, I'm going to savagely attack his fucking face, and I'm going to knock him the fuck out, and then I'm going to pat him down, because, you know what, he says he has a police issue Glock, and he's going to fucking shoot me and shit, and I'm like, dude, you don't realize, you just done fucked up, punk, I know what you look like, alright, and it's not like you're ever going to go out of your way, all right, to fucking find me, but you know what, um, I'm going to be all over the place, doing good things, and if we run across each other, I'm not hesitating, you know what, I'm going to fucking attack you, bitch, you know what your name is, and you're going to fucking lament that you fucking threaten me, dog, put it like this, um, I'm savagely fucking fast compared to you, uh, to me, you're like a fucking mother hen, homie, okay, it's not my fault that your mommy and daddy should have never gotten together, dog, okay, and that in the fucking past, you would have been fucking a defective, you know what, you would have been uh, genetically defective and you would have made it, dog. You would have run across a motherfucking predator like me, you know what I'm saying? And it's like this, all that soap that floats when you shake up, you know, steaming water, that's in your body and it's making you fucking frail. And I bet you that I could prove this, okay? If you signed a fucking leave, a, <laughs> if you signed away your fucking bodily rights and shit, and you let me go to work on you, I could fuck you up and break your shit off, basically at will, dude, I bet you I could snap your fucking bones, I'm so savagely fucking strong, you done fucked up, punk, you fucking threatened my life, and I got it fucking proof, so, you know what, law enforcement officers around the country, okay, Dan Quinn has made a vow to his children, alright, I will never, ever, ever break the law again, okay, you know what, um, and because the Vagos fucking going, why would you fucking back Dr. Kyle? So you fucking retarded homeboy. Just fucking keep your mouth shut, do your time, and then fucking whatever, go again, right? <laughs> Me might be Paul Newman. I'll tell you what, bitch. I'm a legend behind bars, motherfucker. People don't fucking know it, but you know what? How many white boys, motherfucker, inside the fucking jail? In the pen, they don't matter, dog. You know what? In the pen, it wouldn't happen, all right? In the pen, the shot callers are making sure that they're fucking little troopers. Don't fuck up so guys get fucking stuck, you know, on the fuck over, bitch. And it goes like this. You know what? Um, there was a fucking table full of fucking angry black men, all right? And they were fucking talking about what they should and could do to me, motherfucker. I swear to God. And you know what? I was reading my book and I'm thinking, you know what, fuck this. So I stood up and calmly walked into the fucking center aisle and I took off my fucking shirt, you punk ass bitch. And I started stretching. And I said, if anybody here has a fucking problem with me, then step the fuck up and let's handle this, man. And no one did. And I said, that's what I thought. Now I'm fucking reading my book. I want some peace. Oh, and then check this out, bitch. Another time, okay, <laughs> a Nortano comes up to me named Grumpy. What's up, homeboy? You know what? If you hear this, Twitter the truth and fucking say, oh yeah, that happened. Say that, you know what, you came up to me and you said, hey Holmes, Richard Durant says you're hella cool, so know this. If anything goes down with the brothers, know the Norteño's got your back, right? And oh, you realize what you just fucking heard? This is royalty talking, motherfuckers, I'll tell you what. Tony Acuna, who is fucking a legend behind bars, bitches. No shit, you know what? He was like the captain for 
Jimmy Corey, man. I mean, Jimmy is retired. You know what, home? I mean, <laughs> out of respect, dog. You know what? No one knows hardly that you are a guy like fucking uh, Robert De Niro and Heat, dog. I mean, kind of like that, but only bigger and shit. And, you know, touching knuckle to knuckle, you know, when I'm going to fight Harry Gopal and earn his fucking forever, I mean, put it like this, man. He's going to be fucking people up and he couldn't put a dent in me. And this motherfucker talking shit, dude. Put it like this, homie. I'm going to stand down, man. Oh, yeah. You didn't touch my feelings. You make me so fucking mad. I'm going to think about you when I'm fucking this dude up at the Playboy Mansion, homeboy. And then guess what? You know what? I'm going to hire a woman to fucking meet you for a, a meet and greet, you know, or whatever. And she's going to find out who you are. And then we're not going to do anything illegal, but we're going to fucking put you and your words on blast, bitch. And it's like, you know what? We'll fucking let America fucking, you know what, decide what to do. What do you think would happen when your punk ass fucking runs into me? I'm a fucking buzzsaw, bitch. You know what? Uh, you wouldn't fight a fucking Rick Vardell at 75 motherfucking pounds heavier than you. You know what? When you were going like this, <laughs> don't hit me. I'm saying don't stop it, hurt. Don't stop it. He's not hurting me, motherfucker. Because you know what? I'm about to savage things they fucking get, dog. And so, you know what, girl? To the fucking fine-ass hottie. Hot magic. Oh, my fucking God. You know what? I swear to God, girl. You're absolutely too fucking good to be true. It's almost like... You know what, some government agency is like, you know what, we know what this motherfucker is going to like go bring, and I'm going to be fucking jacking off, thinking about you for the next two motherfucking hours. Peace out, and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>